Oh, I love this. Sorry, I got really lost in the sauce for a second. Claire, this pimp don't lie. How many rap stars you know that went to Berkeley High? I'm always with a cup of bourbon. I'm in here choosing, you up here searching. Yo, 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 welcome to the show, everybody. It's me, Ben, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, my friends, we've got NCT Dream's third full album. This is ISTJ, the third full album. Um, welcome in. Hopefully, everyone's having a great day so far, my friends. As always, whether you're watching on Patreon or over on YouTube, please don't leave the video today without leaving a like for me one time. Would appreciate that very, very much. If you're watching over on Patreon, you already know how it is. Y'all are getting this one nice and early and uncut. So if you're watching over on YouTube later on, just be aware, patrons get these videos, these album reviews uncut and, you know, the day that I record them. Um, that's just the way that we have to do things over here. But welcome in. Let's hop into it. I do not have reliable lyric videos yet, so we're not gonna bother with that. I'll check out the lyrics in my free time. In the meantime, I'm way too excited about the album to wait for reliable lyric videos. <laughs> I'm not waiting for them. So we're using the official versions of the songs, the MP3s on NCT Dream's channel itself. Um, so let's hop into it. I'm super excited. I have no idea what to expect, uh, especially after ISTJ, I really enjoyed it, but is it gonna give us a window into what to expect for the rest of the album? Something tells me no. Something tells me not to expect that, just because the variety I expect should be different. Anyway, let's hop into it. First B-side of the day, Yogurt Shake. We're skipping over ISTJ because we know that one, and we're skipping over Broken Melodies because we know that one. Yogurt Shake is up first. Three, two, one, go. That's lovely. It's bassy. It is bassy. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I love that flow right there so much. Mm. It just walks that along. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. So performance from the guys on this one is lovely, but the production value is unbelievable. Man, I almost can't even handle that. That's a lot of beauty at once. A lot of banging at once. All right, skateboard, let's get it. Yeah, this song is like all percussion. There's not a synth in sight. 
vocals. Okay, here we go. That crazy layered vocal over the top. Damn! But it's, bro, it's all percussion. And even sometimes the vocalists are giving us sort of a chant kind of style vocal. It's not even... Yeah. I wonder if they pulled Jamin's voice forward there. Because I hear Jamin a lot when they're all shouting together. wonder if they did that on purpose or not, or if I'm just hearing things. Okay, Skateboard is a great B-side. It's not going to end up being one of my favorites because y'all know I'm all about that melody. Um, skateboard is a solid like 8.5 out of 10 for me though. Like still really good. Uh, okay, Blue Wave. Ooh. That's very whimsical, isn't it? Okay, y'all. <laughs> NTT Dream, but it's actually The Little Mermaid. <laughs> I feel like we're under the sea right now, you know? <laughs> it's like, a, what is that instrument called, bro? It's like a water flute. <laughs> it's a, it's a whimsical, underwatery flute. <laughs> this song feels kind of like almost like a little bit jokey to me, but it's still nice. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Love the way that we bring everything back in there. That evolution is very nice. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Once again, like crazy levels of production value though. There's so much happening at once. Poison. Poison. really lost in the sauce for a second. That right there, favorite instrumental bit on any of these B-sides so far. <laughs> I can't take David seriously, bro. <laughs> Talk to him, Mark. Come on. Ooh. 
Yep, that's the best piece out so far. I can I can say that confidently. Poison is the best one for me so far. S O S. Let's get it. Refocus, Ben. Um, this one is not for me, my friends. Not for me. I see and understand what we're doing here, what we're accomplishing with this one, but this is just, it's just not for me. Respectfully, of course. This. That's not for me, bro. I, Bridge time. That's not the bridge. That's the end of the song. Okay, yeah, I, I don't like, I don't like SOS. <laughs> if y'all like it, more power to you. It's just not for me, bro. All right, Pretzel's up next. Let's get it. Oh, wow, that's lovely. And that's the thing is they don't switch it, man. They use the same sample in the chorus and in the verse. Like I just, there's no escaping it. You get like 20 seconds of melodic right before the chorus and that's it. Like the switch is so easy. I mean, my body reacts to it. A little more percussion added on top. It's just too much for me, man. This one's not for me either, y'all. That's the problem, man, is I love the guy's performances on these tracks, but I just can't get myself to enjoy the parts of the instrumental that are in these songs so heavily. Like, this is lovely right here, right? But then we... No, sorry, not for me, not for me. Those of y'all that may end up really liking this song, leave me a comment down and let me know why. Not because I'm quizzing you, it's just because I'm curious. There's catchy bits to it, man, but I just, I can't casually just put this on and listen to it. I don't know. Starry night. <clears throat> We've already got more melody. Right. I know it's called Starry Night, but this feels like a field of flowers for me. Like in the middle of the day. Okay, okay.
the way that that it like rolled over itself that was awesome Oh, is that Renjin? It sounds like it's Renjin right there. Lovely vocals here, man, from all the guys. Hmm. I can dig this one. Yeah, yeah. It goes by quick though, don't it? Uh, we're already somehow onto our last track of the album, friends. This is Like We Just Met. Really our last one. Damn, this is cool. Little G song vocal. Come on now. Oh, wow. Oh. This is... Oh, my God. I love this. Oh my god! This is a masterpiece. This is one of the best tracks on this album. They absolutely saved one of the best ones for last. again they left perhaps maybe even the best song on the entire album for last there there is absolutely nothing lacking about this song um alrighty let's wrap it up here really quickly shall we ISTJ the third album NCT Dream if I'm giving y'all a immediate top three on my first listen. Obviously, I'm gonna keep listening, so my rankings may change here and there, but I have a joint number one, like we just met, and Poison. So that's like my one, two, but like I'm giving it like joint first place. So that means I'll give number three to Broken Melodies. Still vibing with Broken Melodies. We didn't listen to it just now, but I've heard it enough times to know that I know that that's where it is on my ranking here. Another shout out to a tune, I'll say Yogurt Shake. Blue Wave was nice too. Starry Night, you know, but Yogurt Shake is probably there at my four, even above ISTJ, at least on first listen. ISTJ is going to be interesting to see where it ends up fitting into my favorites list of dream titles. I'm not sure where it's going to end up right now, but in the meantime, at least I had a good time listening to it. Um, but I would say those are my top three. Y'all leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have a top three as well. Let me know if you uh, agree with me, especially if you agree with me about Like We Just Met. I think Poison is going to be one that fans like just in general. 
I don't think I really need to, I don't really think I need to, to question that. But um, like we just met, being that it's a little bit of a slower one, sometimes not everyone likes the slower ones. But anyway, man, I enjoyed myself. Some songs that were very much for me, some songs that weren't as much for me. And that's an album at the end of the day. And I'm cool with that. Y'all leave me a comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about it as well. And like I was saying at the beginning, whether you're on Patreon or over on YouTube, leave a like for me one time. Y'all please have a great rest of your day. Big shout out to the Dreamies. I hope they have a great promotional season for this album. And shoot, man, if we're gonna get a repackage, we know how the Dreamies do their repackage titles. That's it for me. Y'all please have a great rest of your day. Till next time, love y'all very much and peace. Goodbye.